Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Box. It's Tracy here and uh, I've got some yarn to show you. Um, it's a little bit weird. I'm kind of looking at myself and I look brown and I feel feel like um, it's not me looking back. It's weird. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. But um, some of it you've seen before and some of it you haven't. And um, this yarn I bought while I was away uh, in Cornwall. And first of all, I want to show you this. I bought a bag and I bought this in New Look, <coughs> which is a fashion shop. But you know these cloth cloth bags? They're just like cloth tote bags. Well, I, I kind of got drawn to this one because it was leopard print. And I do love a little bit of leopard print occasionally. But what I intend to do with it, I used it on the day to put yarn in it and buy yarn. But I'm going to turn it in this way. So, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this in crochet and then use this as the liner. So when you open the bag, it will have this glorious leopard print liner, but it's a ready-made bag liner, really. It was only five pounds. It wasn't much, but um, you can get cheaper plain ones. I mean, I think I got some for a pound that were plain and they were from Hobbycraft and I um, I fully intended to use those as bag liners. But these are lovely and square, they're already made and all you've got to do is make a crocheted bag for it, which you can attach the squares or the crochet, whatever you decide to do to this. And then you can even crochet around these handles or leave them as leopardy. So that's what I got it for. I got it to use as um, an inside of a bag. One of these days I will make one. And then I bought myself a pair of earrings. I thought I don't have enough sparkly earrings so I got these. These are just like little dressy ones but I can only wear studs. I can't wear loops um, but they're kind of loops but on a stud. So I bought some snazzy sparklies for going out. And then um, we went into Pound Stretcher and I bought some more of this because I'd sold out. Um, and I've been putting this up for um, yarn bundles. Um, so you get kind of a bundle of six yarns. And I got a bit more because I'd sold out. I could have bought lots more, but um, I figured, you know, I wasn't really there to buy yarn although yeah, so I did and I bought some of these remember this one this is the um, streamers brights 2 because the first one was that one do you remember the one I squashed and I said that I was going to make stuff with it while I was away and show you to see how it worked up well I'll do that because um, I did make a couple of phone socks with it I didn't make anything else didn't have any time we were just out and about all the time while we were away but I did um use it a little bit and I will make a few swatches and we'll wash them and see what they come up like but this is the brights too um and I got some of this to make some yarn bundles for my um website hobby rocks um so I've got um two bundles worth I've got 12 balls but this is what Gary bought me. We did buy each other a little present while we were away. And we, I was going to have a, we first saw a necklace and he was going to buy me this necklace. It was very sweet. And I said, oh, no, 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 wait. And then he was going to buy me a wrap. And I said, oh, no, 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 we'll wait. And then we saw this and I said, I'm having it. <laughs> oh my, look at that. I have an alpaca. I've always wanted an alpaca, but it's got an imitation crochet jacket. It's cloth, but it looks like it's made of crochet. Isn't that funny? It's actually got a little bit of a frill at the bottom that is uh, made of, well, it's fluffy actually, but it looks, it's meant to be crocheted, but it's not. <laughs> I could make him one. It's got a little hat as well. Look at his little cute ears. Her, maybe. But isn't it gorgeous? I have, hello, I have an alpaca, his little tail. He's such a cute little thing. So this is, this is my present. Maybe you guys can come up with a name for my little alpaca all the way from Cornwall. These little 
trotters. Well, hooves. Hooves? Are they hooves on the bottom of an alpaca's leg? <laughs> I guess they might be. Hoofs. I don't know. But it's gorgeous. So maybe you can help me think of a name. It's got little flaps on the hat as well. Look. Pretend crochet. I love it. So, yeah. Help me think of a name for her. So, a number of um, my subscribers who are familiar with Cornwall or live around that area said, oh, you need to go there, you need to go to this yarn shop. You need to go. Well, I tried to go to a few yarn shops. A few of them were gone. You know, uh, I think um, the ones that I found by Google as well, a lot of them weren't there anymore, probably since the pandemic. But um, the one that was in Launceston was too far. Um, on the way home, it was too late, everything shut. And um, while we were there, we were just out and about way too much. But I did go um, to the market um, and uh, par market and have a look in there. Someone said that there is a, a nice yarn stall in the market and I need to check it out. So I did. And there was some yarn there that I've not had before. It is a Woolcraft yarn and it's called Pebble. And I really like this. And what I, I liked about this yarn stall, there's loads there. Um, I didn't check it all out completely because we were looking around the whole market. But um, there was some brand new yarns that I haven't seen yet. So I was able to give them a good feel and see if I want to stock them, which is always a good thing. But this, I love this, Woolcraft Pebble. Look at those gorgeous colours. Now, they had about three or four colours in it. And this is a big ball, obviously. And the shade is 8117. Not very imaginatively titled. Please buy sufficient yarn to complete your project garment. 100% acrylic and warm minimum machine wash. Is there any yardage anywhere? 320 meters and it comes from Clifford Street Mills Bradford which is unusual to have a name on it but there you are isn't that lovely I really really like that so I did get a couple because I thought you know that would be quite a lot of yarn and enough to maybe make something of consequence so I, I really liked the colors in this they're really nice. I love the blue. For start. You know me, I love a blue. I do love blue. So I got that one. But the first one, I'm going to put that down there with a the bag. The first one I saw was this one. And I really wanted this. Because, I don't know, something just drew me to this orange. How bright is that? So yeah, I got two of the orange. And again, they are the Yarn Craft Pebble. But wow, what a colour. It is really citrusy, isn't it? And it's got some dark kind of tones in there as well. But I love it. Really, really love it. So I got two of these. And this one is shade 8042. But glorious, glorious orange. Got some real deep kind of orange colours in there. And some lighter ones, almost kind of um, mango papaya whatever you want to call it the formula one <laughs> uh, mclaren team call that papaya so we'll call it papaya um as well as bright orange and well it's just lovely isn't it wow very bright i'm not usually a very very bright person but i like that so then she had some brand spanking new yarn from Stylecraft and I didn't buy much of it because you know I stock Stylecraft and if I want to buy any quantities then all I've got to do is make an order at wholesale but this is called y y Stylecraft Colour Twist Double Knitting and that doesn't tell me what it is but I don't think that's double knitting I think that's almost like a four weight if it's if it's a DK um no it really doesn't look would you say that's chunky i was looking for the i was looking for it and i couldn't find it oh it is it's chunky it does say it but where it's so spot so shiny with this busy pebble yarn band i couldn't see it but there that's chunky 
so a bulky five but this one was stylecraft colored twist whoops don't fall over that's it let me move that one and um there's a free pattern on the reverse of the yarn band for a cow but look at that isn't that lovely i really like this they had a few other colors there but this was the one that i thought was my favorite and i got a couple of skeins to give it a try lovely and soft really is so um it's premium acrylic 100 percent premium acrylic whoopsie 273 meters or 301 yards and knits to all dk's this is called petals 7236 petals but yeah really like it and it's a, a new pull skein finally a ball of wool that doesn't roll around the floor your cat may not like it but we are sure you will so yeah they reckon it doesn't roll around <laughs> so does that mean that you pull it from here then from the center i don't know but it is nice isn't it really really nice i like that and i um i now have some things to make as well little commissions i've got to get made um and a, th a few things that um i really really want to make that i've got a few things buzzing around my head so yeah um i need to get the yarn together for those but i might get hold of some of this and the masquerade as well which isn't as new as this but as well very very nice and soft and i'd not seen that before so i will definitely think of getting this reminds me of the malaga um that i had before but um more richer colors the malaga was more autumnal whereas this is more brighter they did have other colors as i said but there's this cow on the reverse side which i don't know if that's a knitting or a crochet pattern it doesn't say but it just says this snood is one ball project so you'd have enough in this one to make the snood so that's it that's i was very restrained that's all the yarn that i bought um i could have bought more patterns and yarn from this lady but you know it's like a bus driver's holiday isn't it a coles to newcastle whatever a cliche you want it's uh you know i probably got more yarn than she has to be honest with you so and i, I you know my space <laughs> is not always optimal so uh, i didn't want to add too much to it but i think i did well i got some for hobby rocks and some for me <laughs> so that's probably good what it tell me what would you make what would you make with this it's all the blue it's just so bold, isn't it? I love it. Pebble. Hmm, not bad. And this one, really pleased with this. I might make something for me. You never know. But then again, I'll probably give it away. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. And watch out. Coming soon, I'll do some swatches and we'll look at that um, long-term squashed yarn and see how it fared. Um, Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.